Okay, I'm going to show you how to accept and complete calls that are on demand on your Boostlingo interpreter app. So we have our phone screen set up here. We are going to receive a call from a client. So this client hasn't booked, they've simply chosen a language and you have received that call. So I'm going to click accept. I'm just going to mute everything. Okay, should be okay now. So the call notifications will appear on your smartphone. You don't have to be directly on the Boostlingo app to receive jobs and the calls will come through if you are online. So make sure that you are, your main screen is green, not red. The Boostlingo ringtone will notify that a call is coming in and you need to make sure that your smartphone's ringer audio is turned up. Before you accept a call, as I've already accepted the call, but um, I want to say that you really need to check your environment to ensure that it's quiet and neutral. And when the call is incoming, check all of your audio pop-ups. Sometimes a pop-up might ask for microphone access or something like that. Always allow those things. The music will play while the call is connecting. When connected, you need to answer with KP International Translator's greeting. So, hello, my name is, my ID is, and I am your language interpreter. How may I help you? Please um, remember this and have a look at our etiquette video um, for more information. You will see the company's caller name. I'm sorry that it's frozen on the screen for you guys, um, but hopefully it'll start working soon. The caller will see your ID number, your profile picture and your call details. So there are a couple of really cool features, um, but it has frozen, so I won't actually be able to show you accessing it. Unless it decides to work. So I'll just explain that up here. Um, this is speaker, if you need to hear them more loudly or anything like that. You can mute yourself if your surroundings become no noisy or they've asked for um, you to um, reduce your noise. I don't know um, when that might come in handy. You never know. The messaging icon hasn't shown up yet, but it's usually here. When you click into that, you can live chat with people. Um, this is useful if either party is experiencing audio or network issues or if you or the other party, the client, um, needs to give specific details. The other option is third party calling. When you click up on this plus sign, you can add a third number into the call just by typing in the number and pressing call. It is the interpreter's responsibility to add a third person in. Sometimes the client will give you a number via the chat screen or they'll say it out loud and all you have to do is add it in and press call. If you want to see any of those features in action, please have a look at our accepting and completing calls on the for on-demand calls on the online account because it's all working on there. Uh, for some reason, Screen Share doesn't really like it when I take a live call when I'm screen recording. When it is time for the call to be ended, you've finished interpreting, everybody's happy, please make sure that the client ends the call. Don't hang up on the client um, just in case they've forgotten to say something or they have something more to say. When the call has ended, which is not going to show up either. Oh, hang on. Yay. Okay. You need to rate your call. So please just um, rate it in, as an overall um, success of the call and also how good the call was as far as quality goes. The client also has the option to redial the same interpreter within 60 seconds of ending the call. So please be aware of possible callbacks. Remember to view call history, you can select the call log at the top here in the top left corner and this will show all of your history including the date, time, duration, specialised areas and languages. You can also find more detailed information on your online account.